Hello and welcome to another GCSE revision video and in this video I'd like to talk about the anatomy of a 3D shape. Uh, specifically I want to talk about faces, edges and vertices. Now common words like sides and corners have been used so much in common everyday speech that they've become a little bit ambiguous especially when applied to three-dimensional shapes so we're going to try and avoid using them. Instead we're going to try and use words like faces, edges and vertices which are a lot more specific. Now the face of a 3D object is a two-dimensional shape that makes up one side of a three-dimensional shape when it's viewed edge on. This cuboid for example has six faces four of which are oblong and two are square. Now the edge of a 3D object is a line that is formed where two faces meet. So this cuboid has 12 edges, nine of which are clearly visible in this picture, the other three are hidden and I've used dotted lines to try and show where they are. The vertex of a three-dimensional object is a point where three faces meet. So this cuboid has eight vertices, seven of which are visible in this diagram, but one of them is hidden and I've again used the dotted lines to try and show where it is. Or in the case of a cone, the vertex is also the apex where a curved face becomes a point. Now the cone has one vertex. It has two faces, one of which is flat and the other one's curved. And it has one edge. And that edge is the circle or the circular face that meets the curved face of the cone and that creates a line which would be the circumference of that circle and that is the edge. Now a lot of people ask how many faces has a sphere got? Well a sphere has one face which is curved. It has no edges and no vertices. OK, well so much for the definition of faces, edges and vertices. Time to check our understanding here. How many faces, edges and vertices does a cylinder have? When you pause your video, take your time, have a think about it. When you think you know the answer, press play. A cylinder has three faces two of which are flat circles and the other curved around the circles. It has two edges where the curved face meets the two flat circles and it has no vertices. Okay, so how many faces, edges and vertices does a square base pyramid have? Take your time, picture what a square based pyramid looks like, pause the video, have a think about it. When you think you've got the answer, press play. Now a square based pyramid has five faces, it has eight edges and it has five vertices. OK, last question. How many faces, edges and vertices does a triangle based pyramid have? Take your time, pause the video, picture a triangle based pyramid in your head, count the number of faces, edges and vertices and when you think you've got the answer, press play.
A triangle base pyramid has four faces, six edges, and four vertices. Okay, I hope by now it's very clear in your mind what we mean by a face, an edge, and a vertex. Okay, I'd like to wish you every success with your exams, especially if you're taking them this year. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you in another video.